Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this video, I will show you how to recreate this animation in Premiere Pro. As you probably know, this animation is from Iman Garzi video. So, first thing what I'm going to do is create a background. I just create a new sequence by going over here, new item right here, sequence, width and height 1080, press OK. Using the rectangle tool, I'm going to create a rectangle like this. Let me extend this. On the right side, you can see Essential Graphics. If you don't see it, just go to Window, Essential Graphics. Under Appearance, Fill, select the color. Let me change the solid to linear gradient. First, let me change the white to red. Press OK. Now I'm going to make this line vertical like this. Let me select the fill color again and change the white color to black and let me make the red more lighter. Now go to new item, color match. Let me extend it like this. Go to effects and add a grid to the color match. And refer controls grid. Let me change the corner to 1120, opacity 2, border 3. Again, go to effects and add crop. Change left, right, bottom to 8, edge feather to 150. Now the background will look like this. Go to effects and add turbulent displays. Amount 10, size 20, set keyframe for evolution at the beginning, go at the end and change the evolution to 4 times. Go to effects and add posterize time, change frame rate to 12. Let me select both layers and right click nest. I am going to rename it as a background. Next up is character animation. Go to your web browser, type freepick.com. Here I am going to download this picture right here. Now go to photopia.co. Click on this open from computer. Select the picture which we downloaded. The downloaded picture will be in compressor file. When you extract it, you can see these three files. Select this encapsulator file or illustrator file. Go to Files and select Save as PSD. Now go to Photoshop. Here I don't want these images. So just click on that image and delete the layer. After that done, let me create a new file. Size 1080. Let me select this image and drag it over here. Let me extend the table. Just go over here and press Shift and drag it to the end. I want these two hands to be animated. For doing this, select the hand and place this layer over the top. I am going to rename it as right hand. I am going to create a group. Just drag this right hand layer to this group icon right here. Okay, now let me also add this part also. Just select this part right here and select the layer and drag it to the top and rename it. And this same goes to the left hand also. So we just have two groups, right hand and left hand. Select the remaining layers and create a group. Rename it as character. Now we got three groups. 
Let me hide right and left hand group. Go to file, export. Make sure the format is PNG. Check transparency. Click on export. Now let me hide the character group and right hand group. Turn on the left hand group. Add export. Do the same process for the right hand also. Go back to Premiere Pro. Add these three images which we exported in Photoshop. First character, then left and right hand. Go to effects and add transform to the left hand. Under effect controls, I am going to set a keyframe for position at the beginning of the timeline. Place these two anchor points over here. Let me slightly change the position to the left. Let me go a few frames forward and change the position slightly to the right. Select both the keyframes, right click, temporal interpolation, auto bezier. Do the same process for the right hand. Add transform. Set keyframe for position at the beginning. Adjust the position to the right. Go a few frames forward and change the position to the left. Select both keyframes, temporal interpolation, auto bezier. Select these three layers, nest, rename it as character. In this video, you can see there is an up and down animation. For doing this, select the character nest sequence, set keyframe for position at the beginning of the timeline, drag it down. Go few frames forward and drag it on top. Also, let me double click on this character nest sequence and adjust the timing of the hand animation by adjusting these keyframes. I am going to change the character to black and white by simply going to effects and add a tint. Next step is line animation. Using pen tool, I am going to add a line. In essential graphics, make sure to uncheck the fill and check the stroke. Hold the mouse and create a curve line like this. Let me extend this layer. I am going to place this line layer below the character layer. Go to effects and add Venetian blinds. Under refer controls Venetian blinds. Transition completion to 30. Width 52. Let me change the stroke width by going over here. Change the stroke width to 2. Add wipe effect. Go to effect controls and increase the duration. Let me place this line layer over here. Next step is health bar. Using rectangle tool, I am going to create a rectangle like this. As you can see on essential graphics, uncheck fill, check the stroke. Increase this value to make the corner more rounded. Let me create another rectangle inside this round rectangle right here. Uncheck the stroke and check the fill. Let me change the fill color to green. Increase the roundness to 40 and adjust the position and scale size. Let me select this green rectangle and adjust each side like this. Now. Let me rename these layers, go to effects and add crop to the green rectangle. Under effect controls, crop, set keyframe for right at the beginning of the timeline, change to 55. Go a few frames forward and change the keyframe to 33. Select the top layer and using tight tool, I am going to add a test. Then we select both these rectangles, right click, nest. Adjust the position of this rounded nest sequence. I am going to place it at bottom like this. Also, I am going to place this rounded nest sequence below the character layer. Select rounded nest sequence and set a keyframe for position and scale at the beginning of the timeline. Let me decrease the scale size and position at bottom. Go a few frames forward, 
position at top and increase the scale size. Now for the arrow, select the arrow adjust the scale and position. Let me delete the unwanted portions. Go to effects and add posterize time to all the layers except background layer. Change frame rate to tour. As you can see, this is a 40 seconds video. So, but original animation is just only 2 seconds. So, let me quickly adjust the timing of each keyframes to make it at 10 seconds. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And thank you for watching.